Hi haunting friends, it's Travis from Trav's Haunted Yard and I just wanted to give you another update of what I've been working on this winter. I've been working on some paper mache pumpkins and again how I do these is with um, a tall kitchen garbage bag and I stuff it full with paper, plastic, anything to stuff it with really. And then I tie it off and then the outside layer, instead of using paper mache and newspaper, I do a couple layers of the masking tape. Then I draw my face on and then with my homemade paper clay, I cover the outside with it. But I do not cover the facial expressions, obviously. So when that paper clay hardens up, it'll get real It'll get real hard. Um, I do three coats of the driveway sealer. And then the black, of course, will give me that dimension when I go to dry brush the paint on. Here's another little guy that I've started. And another little one here that I need to put the driveway sealer on. But anyway, after that, I cut a hole in the bottom while I don't paper clay, just like around to be able to um, pull out the uh, paper and stuff. And I'll give you a look at the inside, how it looks when all that's out. It kind of gives it that texture of inside of a deck liner. So I will paint this probably a yellow golden color so it will glow when I put the lighting in. So they are addicting. This is another one I've got ready, getting ready to paper clay. And then I'm also going to make a vintage cat. I was inspired by, again, Kathy LeBeau from Haunt on the Hill. And um, But this one I'm not gonna cut out the eyes or anything. I'm gonna leave it solid. So I've got my work cut out for me. And here is the finished head of Reagan, the uh, exorcist from The Exorcist. I think she looks okay. She's not perfect, but she will do, especially in some lighting or something. It's um, kind of forgiving in a haunt. All the lighting helps. So that's what she looks like, and I don't know. I just had this wig. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I might get one that's straighter or whatever but yeah who knows I might work on may work on her a little bit more but I don't think she looks bad all right so something else that I've been wanting to do and I've been looking online is I've been wanting to make some Halloween ornaments so these are Christmas ornaments and I've painted them but um you guys remember I was working on a Frankenstein head and this is this was my inspiration so that is one of them that I'm gonna be doing something else that I was a, a, able to accomplish was my portrait lady or flute lady head prop from um, Stephen King's it the new one which I've already showed you in a previous video along with the moon. Here are some of the ornaments that I've been looking at online just to give me some inspiration. I think they're really cute. And I've got tons of paper clay to use up so I believe I will try to make some. Also something else I want to do is make um, start making little figurines. So I've got some lots of cloth and different things I can use for like fabric and clothing and you know like the witch's dress and stuff. It's another one that I liked, another ornament. I like this guy. Okay, so that's what I've been up to guys. It's been pretty cold, crazy winter so far. Not too much snow but very cold 
but I've got lots of stuff to keep me busy until I can get outside to work on bigger projects and we've got bigger projects coming soon. Lots, lots and lots of new props and goodies for this season. Can't wait to show you more videos to come and happy haunting.